Hello everyone, welcome to CheckVisaSlots.com. In this video, we'll look at how the CheckVisa Slots platform works, how to sign up, how to install the plugin, and how the whole uh, thing works. So first, if you do not have uh, an access code, uh, all you need to do is uh, come to the home page and click on free sign up. So here you need to enter information about uh, you know your email ID, your name, and when do you plan to travel. And then uh, you'll also be asked to enter, select the visa type uh, that you plan to do. For example, I'm going to select H1B here. And then after that, you'll get an option to choose what kind of appointment are you looking at? Is it a regular, mean, meaning uh, which is consular appointment uh, with the interview with the consular officer or Dropbox? So I'll just select Dropbox. And then once I do that, then, you know, uh, you know, it also asks you to uh, say if you would like to receive notifications, you know, you could choose yes or no. And, you know, this is optional field. Uh, you don't have to fit the rest one. So once you have done completing the form, then all you need to submit the form. So once you submit, you get a confirmation uh, telling that, uh, you know, you get an email with an access code. So all we need to do is uh, go to our email ID. And then here you can see that we've got a new email from CheckVisa slots. So when I click on that, uh, it has complete details on how to actually, you know, install the plugin or Chrome extension and work with that, right? And also it has an access code. So all we need to do is follow the instructions uh, in the in the in the email, right? First, uh, basically install the Chrome extension. Uh, so it takes you to the you know uh, Chrome uh, web store where you can see the plugin installations and everything. So one important thing to notice here is uh, the plugin has been there for quite some time and we don't really store any personal information uh, you know using the plugin. So we don't capture any personal information uh, using the plugin. Only the screenshots are taken related to the availability. So that's what this privacy practices indicate. Here we can we clearly tell that. So it's pretty clean plugin. All we do is uh, take anonymously the, the screenshot of the of the availability. That's all we do. Uh, so anyways you can read all of this information and all the, all the great uh, reviews that we've got we also have this featured badge which doesn't come easy you can actually you know look click on that and learn more on how the privacy practices all we follow so once you are comfortable then you know all you need to do is click on uh, add to chrome so as soon as you do that you get a pop-up uh, in that uh, you click on add extension uh, in that way you know it, it installs this into the into the chrome plugin into the you know uh, browser so once you are installed it, uh, you, the, uh, the first time when you install it, you it'll, you'll be asked for the access code, right? So now your time is to go back to the, uh, your email that you got, and here you see the access code, right? So you take this access code here, whatever you see here, and then uh, you need to enter the access code and click on this, uh, you know, green check icon, right? And once I click on that, then you can see the availability. So this is like a, like a quick preview of what's happening right I mean you can read through all of this so this is just we give some tips and everything but this is not really like uh, you know like a thing right so this is just giving an overview of this stuff so now that you've installed the plugin uh, if you want to have it handy you can actually click on the chrome part and then click on uh, to pin it so that you can see this all the time now that you have installed the plugin, how do we contribute, right? So this is actually a crowdsourced platform, and the whole the whole way it works is, you know, if you go to the homepage, we talk about how the platform works, right, and why are we doing this, you know, how how we are not, uh, you know. Um, how we're helping the users, you know, and not giving that unfair advantage to the agents, right? So you can read through how the platform works. So the way this works is, uh, you know, even if you contribute or do not contribute, you get about 20 sessions per day. Uh, and each of the session, you know, when you open the screenshot, you will actually see there are 12 latest screenshots in the session, right? So, uh, you know, if, for example, if I click on the plugin, I can just see that uh, basically, you know, if I go to the home page as well, right? And if I click on sign in, automatically it'll pick up because I'm already there. Or if it asks for an access code, all you need to do is enter that access code again, right? So, you know, enter the access code that we've been uh, given. So let me come here and then, you know, enter the access code. So once you enter the access code, then you can see that uh, basically you can see the 12 screenshots. So these are the screenshots of four times three. So, and also it shows I've just used one session, right? So this is the session we talk about. We give 20 free sessions. If you do not contribute, you get only 20. So if you, if you check, uh, then you will get more sessions. Now, how do you contribute is a big part, right? As we were mentioning, uh, you know, you can check the homepage, how it works, but uh, contribution is very, very easy, right? So all you need to do is you need to log into, uh, log into uh, CJ Federal portal. So once you come onto the screen, you need to enter, you know, CJ Federal portal, you need to enter your email ID and password, and then, you know, basically log in, right? So once you log in, once you log in, what it does is the system actually basically lets you in. Uh, and once you're in, then, you know, all you need to do is check the appointment. So just logging in will not give you the contribution. You need to really go into the appointment scheduling page and then check the appointment availability. So there is also a capture here. So yeah, you need to click on I'm not a, you know, I'm a human. And then when you submit, 
so this is when you come to the screen so when you come to the screen basically this is when we capture uh, this uh, screenshot anonymously and uh, you know the the platform takes it uh, you know into the into the account right so this is how you contribute now technically i've logged in once and i've actually contributed one image so if i actually change this uh, you know to another consulate then basically the screen refreshes and now i'm actually looking at availability of kolkata so these are technically two contributions right now if i come to my home page and i do a refresh of this then you can see that you know i have two images contributed so i just refreshed two times right so you can see that i've contributed twice and now i only used one image session now if, if you see i've actually increased my sessions to 38 so that's basically, you know, uh, essentially, right, for each of the contributions, we are actually adding that, uh, you know, sessions uh, on, on top of that, right? Uh, so so that's the idea, right? This is how the platform works and this is how we contribute. Now, if you want to really like, uh, the, the thing with uh, the free subscription is you don't get any, uh, you know, email alerts for that part, right? So if you want to like get email alerts, so this is where, you know, we have, uh, we charge a small fee for that. And uh, to understand how that works, you can look at the pricing and, uh, you know, uh, so what we do is we basically send you uh, email alerts whenever there is a, an open uh, screen uh, whenever there is a availability right so we'll, we'll look at some, some parameters but the important thing to notice is even though you are a paid user uh, even though you pay for subscription you still need to contribute you know so here we given how the whole thing works you know so basically you need to uh, contribute irrespective right we look at how the user has contributed how recent were they and how close this uh, preferred slot is right so we look at all of these uh, you know things and then only email because uh, you know it, it, think about it, right we are creating a platform where people can help each other you don't really have to take the subscription to be able to get all the benefits of it right but if you really want to get the alerts then only you need the subscription otherwise you can just come in here and then you know like uh, come here and check this right and you know you can check the alerts. but if you really want uh, an email alert every time something changes uh, you still need to contribute because this is the way only way we can have a platform that is going to be neutral so it's not like you pay you, you pay money and you don't have to log in it so that it doesn't work like that so that's the way this platform works uh, everybody so hope you got an idea of this whole thing how the whole thing works uh, thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, you know please email us at uh, support at checkwithuslogs.com